The agreement between Golden Star Resources and Future Global Resources demands that an initial purchase price of $55 million shall be paid with a further contingent component of up to $40 million staged payments to ensure FGR focuses investment capacity on the asset itself while providing Golden Star with exposure to its long-term growth potential. Golden Star, however, says operations will continue at the Pristia Underground operation, which includes the use of Alimac mining on 24 level and long haul open stooping mining activities on the newly developed 17 level. The sale, according to the company, strengthens Golden Star's balance sheet and allows them to accelerate the growth and development of the large resource base at the Wasa mine and increase exploration activities in the wider Wasa HBB project area. Following the satisfaction of the closing conditions in the agreement, including obtaining the required government approvals, the transaction is expected to be complete not later than September 30, 2020. Andrew Ray, President and Chief Executive Officer of Golden Star, says the sale agreement brings fresh focus and investment capacity to the asset while enabling them to concentrate on their financial and technical resources on accelerating the delivery of value from WASA as it continues to develop into a large-scale, long-life and cash-generative underground mine. He adds that the agreement is positive for FGR and Golden Star and its employees as well as the host communities and Ghana in general. He says there will be no job losses as FGR has agreed to maintain the workforce. From the conversations we've had from the plans that FGR have, they don't have the intention to make cuts. In fact, what they said to me quite literally was, we want to look at how we can grow this asset. And it's pretty hard to do that without people. So they want to retain the mining skills in the business and then use those to help the business continue with the plan that we had for it. You know, you all know that mine a year ago, the mine was struggling and it needed a clearer plan. It needed some investment and we've been doing that. And I think FGR coming in can see that plan makes sense. They can see the value in continuing to do that. So that is what they have communicated to us in terms of their plans to look at carrying on what we were doing and exploring other opportunities for growth. On environmental challenges and sustainability, Mr. Andrew Ray says FGR and its parent company, Blue International Holdings, are committed to sustaining the gains made. For us as a business, we have a real focus on our environmental liabilities and we're fully compliant with all of those. I mentioned GSOP, that's a critical part of that as well, of rehabilitating the ground that has been disturbed from mining. And you mentioned the point yourself. This is a one of the key approaches to business of FGR and Blue International, and they fully understand that's what they're taking on. And as with any new owner, you take on those commitments. And over time, you know, we're gradually rehabilitating the former workings of that area. Each year, we spend some money doing that. That continues to be part of the plan and will continue. So I think, you know, there's been very, very detailed diligence over the last two to three months where they've been doing their work so they really understand the situation. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our City TV YouTube channel for more videos on the business dashboard. Tune in and stay updated on the key business news stories of the day with Business Dashboard every weekday at 7 p.m. only on City TV.